the industry has gone through a lot of changes as it's developed and you know it started out with with data being a driving factor with yield monitors and variable rate uh, application and that kind of stuff and then as technology developed uh, steering became a very important and you got immediate payback in the field and uh, clutch control and boom control and all that kind of stuff uh, it came into uh, being invented and and everybody adopted that and you got immediate payback you didn't have to do a lot of analysis to get the benefits out of that and a lot of that stuff's been invented and uh, implemented into the operation now. So a lot of it's going to focus more back towards the data side of things and doing, um, you know, getting, analyzing your data, figuring out what your best hybrids are, what your best planning rates are, when to plan it, uh, what speed. So just a lot of different data type items that if you're going to get the benefits out of the technology, you need to be able to analyze the data and start asking questions and using that data to start making changes in your operation. Yeah, it really depends on your operation. You need to take a look at uh, what your business is today and what kind of services you're providing, what kind of resources you have, and does it make sense to bring in some agronomy experts into your operation and, and start uh, you know, adding that as a service? Or are you better off partnering with somebody locally that has that knowledge and you guys create a teamwork to go out there and provide these benefits. So it's something you need to take a look at your business, but there's certainly opportunities to be able to provide those services. How to implement them into your own business is something that you need to take a look at and figure out what's best for you, both short-term, short-term and long-term.